Homelessness is a big thing worldwide. Millions of people are homeless all over the streets and that's no different for myself. At 17 years old, I was kicked out and I was all alone living in my car. However, I have barely spent any nights actually living on the street. Sure, I've lived in a car and a van and a caravan, but that is not the same as these people who spend every single night on the street in the cold. So to try and understand what these people go through, back in 2018, I purposely went and lived on the streets for five days and, well, this is how it went. Welcome to today's series. And today's series is day one of five days homeless in winter. I've got a sleeping bag, I don't have any money, and that's about it. So watch me as I try and live homeless for a week, five days. <sighs> Let's get to it. When I started this journey, I didn't really have any knowledge or any plans. So I spent the first day walking about, getting to know the area of my bearings. Once I was able to establish where I was and what was around me, I needed to find somewhere to sleep. As this series was filmed in winter, it got dark very quickly, and I ended up coming across a small multi-storey car park, which I knew would be safe, as it was away from the elements. After I showed off my new home, I prepared for bed, and put my sleeping bag on the ground, and tried to sleep through the night. I had a very broken sleep pattern on the first night, I struggled with it a lot, so I ended up getting up early in the morning, hiding my sleeping bag, and heading out to the streets before light. No one was around. It was quiet and silent. Once the shops decided to open, I was able to go into Waitrose and pick up myself some tasters. Just needed something to eat. As I had no money, I needed a little bit of fuel before progressing on with my day, which Again, I did a lot of walking and exploring of the area. I didn't just want to sit around and do nothing all day. I feel like I had to move, I had to do things. And before I knew it, it was sunset again. So once again, I returned to the car park where it was very, very cold. And I got my sleeping bag out, ready to sleep once again. Put the bag in the sleeping bag so it doesn't get stolen. By day three, I had different ambitions. I went looking for money in the amount of trolleys that were just left about on the side of the roads. I found a weird looking coloured cat. I also found a park with an outside gym. I did a lot of exercise that day. It felt good, stretching my legs and my arms, better than just walking. But as the day progressed, things went sour, as by the time I made it back to the car park, I discovered my sleeping bag was gone and I had nothing that night. It was very cold. Didn't have the best sleep last night, as you could have guessed. So, we need a pampering session today. That's right, a pampering session. I knew about a swimming pool which was a few miles away, so I decided to go on a nice walk over there. Now whilst on my walk, I discovered a tool station en route. Now pre-Covid, tool station used to give out free hot chocolates, I'm not sure if they still do it. But this was great as I was homeless for five days, so I was able to grab myself a free hot chocolate and sit down on my way to the swimming pool. And when I finally got to the swimming pool, obviously I had no money. So I did what anyone would do, and I snuck in. I got to go swimming and I got to use the shower and I got to wash and clean myself four days into this challenge. It felt absolutely amazing. I'm so glad that I was able to do that before venturing on the walk all the way back to town. However, just as luck goes, I found some trolleys. Now trolleys are great because they have one pound coins that go in them and I happened to find finally a trolley with a pound coin in it. And whilst I was messing about with the trolleys, I found something else, my sleeping bag. The sleeping bag which I didn't have the night before, it seems someone had taken it and dumped it by the bins. I was very fortunate to have found it for the last night. So as I clipped the trolleys back together and I got my pound coin, I decided to find a shop which was open. 
unfortunately some of them weren't so I ended up going to a little corner shop where I was able to haggle and get myself a sausage roll and a drink for 89p. Yeah. I knew tonight that I would be warm and fed. It was a good night for me. Now day five brought its own challenges along with it. It rained overnight so I wasn't able to sleep all the way through. I headed to the local shop to see if I can find any tasters and unfortunately I couldn't. But today was the journey which I would try and make home. Home for me at that point in time was living in a van. And well, my van was over 30 miles away. I headed to the train station and by sheer luck the train gates were open. That was amazing for me. I was able to sneak on a train and I was able to get down to Brighton. And once I got to Brighton I was able to change trains and I was able to head to a station just a bit further away from where my van was, which I knew had no train gates. Now once I got off the train there, I then had to start the long-winded walk all the way to my van. So I indulged on this walk, I made it all the way back to my van, and finally, I was home. Five days being homeless was officially over. Even though that challenge was five years ago now, you may be wondering, did I learn anything on my experiences? Well yes, of course I didn't show everything on camera. I didn't show you that I was getting water for free from the local weather spoons or I was charging my phones in local pubs because obviously you don't really care about those things. You care about the rough and tough that people live on the streets. Now I didn't follow the typical homeless person situation, I wasn't hanging out with homeless people and I didn't even attend a homeless shelter. However just from living on the streets alone through winter, it was definitely an experience that I can learn from. Because it was very cold, it rained, the weather was up and down and I wore the same clothes. Now, I'm sure you guys change your clothes every day and I'm glad that I'm able to change my clothes every single day. But a lot of people aren't able to do that. A lot of people have what they have on their back or in their trolley and it is upsetting completely. Millions of people worldwide are homeless and it is very sad that people have to go through this sorts of things. Now I understand that there is help out there for these people and I know that there isn't enough help. Over my short life, I've learned a lot of things. And one of the things that I've learned is about giving and helping and looking after people. And that's what I've done in the past. I learned to cut hair and I cut hair at the local homeless shelter when I lived up north. Now, if you're ever in a situation where you are homeless, then obviously please seek help. And if you know someone who is homeless, then please help them out. Because a lot of people don't like talking about the situations. If you know someone is struggling, please reach out and please help. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you'd like to see future content from me, which obviously is going to be pretty cool because I'm uploading videos now, uh, I'm going to be regurgitating some old videos that I've made in the past in this sort of style because I enjoy this. And hopefully we'll be able to create some new memories together and have some new journeys and look back through the life I've lived. And I shall see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.